This is a smaller model of, um, of what we're using for, uh, for the algae cells up above that you'll see later. Um, it's a, something that we had designed so that um, the algae could flow through. It could pump the algae through the, the cells without getting beat up. Um, basically, we've taken this eight cavity rotary design and we're using it for more than just um, just the water pump. We started off using it in hydraulics and then we went um, from there we, we designed the pump. We figured if it works on hydraulics it's generally the same basis um, so we decided to try it on the pump and it seemed to be efficient and then um, we're actually uh, using it in combustion as well. We're testing and getting it to run on combustion. Um, the biggest mistake people have is when you say rotary engine, they refer it back to the Wankel. It has similar characteristics that it's named a rotary engine, but um, other than that, it's quite different. As you can see in the diagram here, we have, there's eight cavities opposed to in a Wankel, it, uh, it's three cavities. The inner rotor sits inside the outer rotor. You can see here. And if I pull this to one side, this whole thing spins inside of one of these housings here. And what it does is, as if you watch the cav, if you assume these as cavities, as I'm spinning it around, the cavities stay small at the top. And as they come around, they start to get bigger as it turns. And what that's doing is, it's the fluid's going in, it's stretching out. And as it's coming back in, it's squeezing the liquid out through one of these ports here, which is causing the, which is causing the hydraulic push.